Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about Smart Home Setup, a free and open source software called Home Assistant. Are you tired of paying your money or your privacy to big smart players like Alexa or any other companies? Home Assistant is a local smart home software and you can integrate thousands of devices, and by adding hardware like Zigbee or Z-Wave USB adapter, you can even extend it further. There are multiple ways to host Home Assistant, one of which is using Raspberry Pi, a single board computer for small smart houses. You can buy Home Assistant hardware too, however, for ultimate control and power, we are going to install it on Proxmox. By installing it on Proxmox, you can snapshot a kind of backup of the running version to roll back, increase or decrease the hardware resources, and it does not require multiple devices for your home lab. For example, you can install other home lab software on a single hardware that hosts Proxmox. First, we need to create a VM with the required hardware requirements, which are 2GB RAM, 32GB storage, and 2 vCPUs. Let's first create a VM with a name of whatever you wish to give it. I am going to call it Home Assistant. Then, in the OS, we are not installing from anything, so we can go to use do not use any media. For the system, we are using BIOS UEFI and EFI storage to your storage of choice in your Proxmox machine, which is 135. As The CPU is two vCPUs, we are going to set up that, however, we can increase that if required in the future. We also set two gigabytes for RAM as required. Do not boot the VM as we need to import the Home Assistant. First, go to the Home Assistant website alternative download page H and copy the link of KVM Proxmox. Cow2 and go to console Proxmox shell and download the Home Assistant using the WG link of the Home Assistant download URL. Once the download is complete, we need to uncompress it using XZDV, file underscore name, and finally import the disk to the Home Assistant VM using QM disk import, ID of VM, file name of Home Assistant download, storage name where to save, using local ZFS. After this, go to the Home Assistant VM, then hardware, and enable the newly attached hard drive to it. Then we need to set the option of VM, and boot order, and drag the newly Home Assistant import drive to the first option. Boot the VM and we can see the usual boot screen. Once the boot is successful, we can see the greeting message with the website link. Go to the website link in a browser of your choice, you will be greeted with a new account page. This concludes that the Home Assistant is successfully installed and ready to use. If you have any questions or wish to learn more about the Home Assistant, please put them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. If you feel this video is useful, please help to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.
Thank you.